boss. What's the plan? All right, listen. At 2400, we'll call radio management and get those lines of engines cut up for scrap. Then their remains will be loaded into gondolas and shipped to Springfield Industrial for the building project. What's this building project supposed to be? Why do you want to know? It's supposed to be a luxurious casino. And after we take the gondolas to Springfield Industrial, we're going to tear out the yard and its branch line, as it's already been vulnerable enough to become a new cipher development. Oh, okay. But why are we using scrap metal for the building project again? You ninny! It's called sustainability. Can you elaborate that term? <sighs> Fine. It's for what humans utilize to meet their needs without depleting the natural resources, which we will be by recycling those heaps of scrap metals. Does that apply to your thick cab? Yes. Then good, because I don't have time to put up with your stupidity. The heroes have finally arrived at a nearby yard, still unsettled of who is going to save who. We're here. How are we doing this? If you're so anxious to find out, let's get to a phone. And considering that you failed to keep Eli in order, I doubt that you could do the same with Ben and Bridget. But still, Eli and I should be a part of this. We may have made mistakes in the past, but we could still try to deceat Seth's plans. Plus, I'm sure Ben and Bridget are slowly learning from their flaws. No! I'm not letting you get close to Seth! I have a feeling he's gonna manipulate you again, and you're even going to have these three be part of this? Nicholas, we know what we are doing. I already learned everything of Seth's true nature, and I'd be willing to pay him back. Don, you still don't know a gosh darn thing of whom you and your trios of goofballs are going to put up with. Instead, you should let Holmes, Lily, and I be the ones to risk our lives, and that's final. Gosh, Nicholas, stop acting like a control freak. Says the one who lets Seth take control of you. My God, Nicholas, where'd you ever shut up? Don't tell me to shut up. You know you can't do this if you already taunted at Miguel, Leo, and Fake Lily. All of you, shut up! Well, he started first. Blaming me? How beautiful. I was only trying to keep y'all in check. Seriously though, no matter what your weak points were, you guys are just wasting time squabbling over who gets to save who. And there's no point in it. Each one of you should have some potential in something. He's right. Plus you realize that our friends are in a desperate situation and we can't be wasting any more time fighting. I say we should still have these four take their chances. As for us, we can be the decoys in case something goes wrong. <sighs> yeah, you're right. We've wasted enough time with this crap. Now we will be keeping an eye around the area but if this fails, don't say I didn't warn all of you. Ah! Don't listen to Nicholas. He was being an idiot. In fact, it was that GP38-2 number 2503 who was influenced me telling those UP visitors. We should just forget about it and focus on saving our friends. Well, Eli, you should really be aware of what engines you hang around with. And whatever you do, be careful with how you're around Seth, because he's full of deceitfulness. While Eli and I distract Seth and his cronies, I will need Ben and Bridget to find some fuel tankers, which are stored by the silo a few miles away from here. But what if it backfires? Oh, don't worry. I was manipulated by him in the past, and he probably still thinks that I'm on his side. Just be aware that there are some guards on duty, and if they ask you anything, just tell them that you're trying to mind your business and take them to the nearby refinery. But you have to be quick. I guess we'll take your words into consideration. you actually decided to skip work just to help us with this little project of mine. And I see you brought a certain someone with you, huh? Yeah, still trying to get those lines of engines scrapped? Of course I am. They are useless heaps of metals who don't deserve their lives. Well, considering that I've been with Eli for a while, I recently brainwashed him to become part of this, so we will gladly assist you once again. What are you 
doing with those fuel tankers? We're just here to take these tankers to the nearby refinery, that's all. Are you sure about that? I don't know if I should trust you around here. Don't trust them. I have a feeling they're trying to save their friends from scrap. Guys, look, a UFO! Where? No, they're getting away with the fuel tankers! Well, what are you waiting for? Stop them! Why did we stop? I'm out of fuel. You idiot. Why didn't you get refueled earlier? Don't you understand? I've been forced to patrol this area for the past few days and it's getting so damn tiring for me. Ugh, that's still a lousy excuse to not get refueled. I don't get what's so hard about it. Thanks a lot. Now we lost that little rat. If anything, you should have joined those engines for scrap. Here, quick! Get refueled! Ah, oh, thank you, Ben and Bridget. I feel ready to move. About time I get to finally escape this mad place. Are you guys okay? I don't know. We were kidnapped by that disciple SD40-2 with the number 8116. And it turned out that his name wasn't even Caleb after all. It was Seth. I can't believe we were so foolish enough to get close to him. Ugh, you really need to watch who you hang around. Not everybody who is nice is your friend. I've had fishy feelings about him for some reason, but sadly, I didn't realize it until it was too late. Well, we should quickly get out of here before we get caught. We'll see. My dream is to drive CSX out of business and get much of locomotives and lines scrapped to make ways for roads, highways, and other sites for development. Believe me, 35 years of experience, railroads are an important tool getting goods and people from one place to another. But think of it, today they're obsolete. And now we have cars, planes, buses, more significantly trucks. Why? Well, it's easier to get cargo shipped directly to places by trucks and by trains. And is CSX doing well in the economy? No! And right now, Springfield Industrial is almost bankrupt. So it's easy to get their lines torn up, which is currently our main objective. So wait until all the lines get desolated then things will turn beautiful for this nation. Right, after we're done, what should we do next? Well, it is... Uh, boss, we have company. What? Not on my watch. Boys, stop them before they make a getaway. Ow! Ugh. Oh, I can't believe it. And this is why you don't mess with us in the first place.
não, não! Shoot, we lost them. What do I do now? Ah, uh, don't worry. We have some pals in the Union Pacific. Fly it up. Stinky, we coming after you. You think you can escape the scrapyard, huh? Well, you're going right back in! Crap, even Miguel and his cronies are part of this? Well, pick up the speed, Ben. Take that, suckers. Well, thanks for saving us, Ben and Bridget. Yeah, for not being as bright as us, you two aren't half bad. Well, anything to show you guys that we're learning from our mistakes. It's a miracle that you managed to save those engines from scrap. I had my doubts at first, but you both surprisingly proved it. I wonder where Don and Eli went, though. Who knows, though? I would like to apologize to Don next time I see her for how I underestimated her. I just couldn't help with all the events that happened last year. And yes, I admit that I was a control freak, but I didn't want anyone to get hurt in case something went wrong. Have you reconsidered your thoughts of how you kept reminding engines like Ben, Eli, Sean, and May of their mistakes despite it being long ago? Well, now that I think of it, I don't think it was necessary to remind them of their mistakes. It only caused more trouble than when I thought I would have just toughened them up. Well, it's the past, and you have to move on. And by the way, May, what caused you to pick up those habits of pretending to film a TV show? I think it's about time you can finally share your story. Well, early last year, I met this Dash 8 with the number 7661. I asked him on how I can keep myself from feeling sleep deprived while leading trains, and he suggested that I pretend to film a TV show known as May's Expedition. After all, everything he told me was a lie, and I kept on getting constant backlashing from my crews. Little did I know that he had a strong connection with Seth, who was willing to sabotage my reputation. I'm sorry, May, but you were a blind fool for listening to the wrong engine. You know you could have spread it to others like Lilium. Though yes, I do apologize for how I kept miscalculating some of you in the past. I didn't want y'all to repeat our mistakes, but I've come to my senses that overdoing it will only make the situation worse. I would also like to apologize to Eli for those petty arguments we had in the past. I didn't really mean to be that harsh to him in the first place. I'm sure he'll forgive you. I mean, a lot of us have made mistakes, and we've learned from them. We may not all be perfect, but we have our own potentials in ways. Plus, as friends, we all have disagreements, as it's part of life, and it helps us learn what we're doing wrong and how to improve ourselves. Alright, Engines, listen up. Sean, Nicholas, and Holmes, you three will be taking the Kyo 32 to New Jersey. And May and Lily, you two will later be following on the L34. Well, there's our work orders. Gotta go. So it was said. The engines who were formerly the scrapyard's prisoners got to go back to their normal work. Seth was sent for repairs while his henchmen were caught and subsequently punished. I hope you enjoyed watching as this concludes season two of the Greater Folkestone Rail Adventures.
fools. How could y'all let them escape? It was these stupid friends, you penguin. They caused us to- I don't want to hear any of your excuses. I trusted you all to keep them on watch. Y'all failed me. Because of that, I am not doing anything with any of you anymore. Gosh, it's no wonder why you can't speak proper English, you giant pile of cheese. Ooh, don't you tell us what to do, you with this piece of crap. Careful with what you say around Miguel, or else you're going to find yourself in the repair shops again. Aw, is the young lad mad? But I will tell you anything I want to. Next time I see you, you rotten pile of cheese. Oh, trust me, you'll find your remains in the scrapyard. You threaten to send us to the scrapyard? Oh, you're so getting that old man. <laughs> ah. uh, that's it. You will get it next time I see you. You hear me, Mongo Rugad? You will all get it! Wait, wait. What's a Mongoli guide? Shut up. And as for you, Ben, the next time I see you in my sight, don't expect to be alive after. How about you don't expect to be alive after I. Cállate. I don't speak Spanish. Moron. Oh, what? You're gonna cry now? <laughs> <sighs> I'll seek vengeance on all of you. Mark my words. Well, guess what? You're on your Peter territory now, and I'm your master now. One wrong move, you're a dead man. You heard him. Shut up. I said, callate, which is Spanish for shut up. <sighs> I'm not going to take part in any of this. I'll just sit back and watch as these guys argue. But mark my words, one of these days, I'm going to team up with Seth, then we will get revenge on Nicholas, Lily, Marie, and all of their friends. <laughs>